Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to find the square root of a number using prime factorization method and long division method. But before that, do subscribe to my channel. Let's take an example of a number 16384. If we have to find out the square root of this number using prime factorization method, we have to find the prime factors of this number. And I have already shared a video where you can find how to find the prime factors of a number. This number is divisible by a prime number 2. We'll write down 2 here. We'll divide the number with 2 and we'll get 8192. Again, we can divide it with 2. We'll get 4096. Again, we will divide it with 2. We'll get 2000. 48. Then this number is again divisible by 2. We'll write down here 1024. Then again with 2, we'll get 512. Again with 2, we'll get 256. Again with 2, we'll get 128. Again with 2, we'll get 64. And we will keep on dividing the number till the time we are not getting 1 at the end. 8, 4, 2 and finally we'll get here 1. Now since we already got 1 at the end that means our prime factorization is over. Now after this we have to make the pair of the same number. Like here we have 2 and 2 we have to make a pair first pair. If it is 3 and 3 we will make the pair of that. Suppose if it is 5 and 5, we will make the pair of that. So same number. In a pair, there should be same number. Then second pair, third pair, fourth pair, fifth pair, sixth pair and seventh pair. When we will find out the square root of this number, out of each pair, we will write down the number once. Suppose if we have the pair of 2 and 2 and we are trying to find out the square root of it, we will write down only 2 as an answer. If we have 3 and 3, we will write down 3 as an answer. So here we have all the 2's here in the pair. So how many 2's we need to write from each pair? Only 1. So how many 2 we have to write down here? 7. So this is the answer for the square root of 16384. So we'll multiply it, 2 2's are 4, 4 2's are 8, 8 2's are 16, 16 2's are 32, 32 2's are 64 and 64 2's are 128. So the square root is 128. This is how we can find the square root of a number using the prime factorization method. Now we will learn how to find the square root of a number using a long division method. In the long division method, first we have to make the pair of numbers from right to left. For example, if I'll take the same number 16384, if I will make the pair from right to left, first pair, second pair, one is left. We can't make a pair with the number one. Then we have to divide one with the number. So 1 is divisible by 1 only. We'll write on here 1 and then in the answer we'll write on 1 and over here we will write on 1. We'll subtract it. Then we have to write on 63. It's not similar to the division where we write on only one digit at a time and then we try that if that number is divisible we divide it. Here we will write on the whole pair together. 63. Then we will add whatever number is written here in the unit place we will add that. We will get here 1 plus 1, 2. Now we have to write on a number here. Looking at the number 63, so if I write on 21, I will multiply it with 1. Same number. I will get 21. 21 is a number which is smaller than 63. So I have to look for the other option. 2 and again I can write down here 2 and I will multiply it with 2. Same number should be here. So we are getting 44. We'll try 23 as well. And we'll multiply it with 3. This should be same. 
so we'll get to 69 i can't write 69 i can't write 21 that means i can write here 22 and here also i write on 2 and i'll multiply it with 2 here and i'll get here 44 now we have to add 2 to it this one will just erase i'll get here 24 and this i will subtract so i'll get here 9 and i'll get here 1 and again we'll write down the whole pair together which is 84 now i have to look for the options so since the number is bigger i will try with 7 here i'll write on 7 and i'll times it with 7 i'll see what answer i'll get it here so 49 2 i'm getting 1729 then i'll try it with 8 and once you will try it with 8 you will see you will get the same number which is needed so i'll write on here 8 i'll write on here 8 and i will write on this number and the remainder is 0 once we'll get a remainder 0 that means it's a perfect square and the answer is 128 so we are getting the same answer either using the prime factorization method or either using the long division method long division method is taking the less time than the prime factorization method so it's up to you which method you want to follow to find out the square root of a number for more such videos do not forget to subscribe my channel and do like the videos so that it can reach to the maximum audience